In this video I am going to show you how you can get a free Windows Server operating system on a free VPS. So this will not cost you a penny, but you will have a free RDP solution for a year. So after this short introduction I will walk you step by step through it. Firstly I open a web browser and go to the Amazon Web Services or AWS free tier web page. I will quickly explain about the three types of offer they provide. Firstly, there are free trials that they run during promotional periods, or when they have just built and released a new product they want to promote, but typically only last a couple of months. Then come the 12 month or free for a year offers, which cover the majority of their products, so you can use most of them, and you won't be charged so long as you stay under their free usage levels. That is what we are going to be using today. And finally there are the always free resources they offer, these are the best type, but only cover a limited number of their products, and unfortunately they don't cover any of the resources we will be using today. Here you will find a complete list of what products fall into each of the three types of free offer, which covers many web pages, and by using the menu on the left I can quickly narrow down the resources available under each category. Before proceeding, can I suggest you bookmark this page like I have, because it contains a wealth of information about what is included in each of their three types of free offer. If you are happy to proceed, click the Create a Free Account button. You will now be taken through a series of screens where they are going to ask for, and then verify, your email, your phone number, and then your credit card. The reason they are so thorough is they are trying to confirm you are a real person, and not an internet bot, just trying to grab as much free resources as possible, by setting up thousands of new fake accounts. I will briefly show you all the screens. On this screen you will be asked what type of support you would like. Just ensure the basic free support is checked before proceeding. One of the biggest concerns I hear about using the AWS free tier is, what happens if I make a mistake when choosing resources, and as a result Amazon charges me at the end of the month. To help alleviate any such fear we will set up an alert, so even if in the future when the 12 months has completed, if you have forgotten about the free period date in this whole Windows machine, Amazon will email you if they were even to charge you a dollar, alerting you to the fact, so you can terminate the whole VPS, to prevent any future charges. To do that we go to the billing section. And under cost management we are going to set a budget. This is a zero spend budget that we will probably never need, but is just there as a kind of safety net.
When finished, we select the EC2 sub option within the compute section ready for us to build the VPS. First, I change my instance build default to the London location before selecting to launch one. I give it a name then select the Windows family. There I need to select one of the free tier eligible ones, but importantly, not with the word core in its name, as that means without the graphical user desktop interface. For machine size, again I select one with the label free tier eligible against it. For key pair, which is normally just for Linux based machines to protect its SSH connection, but AWS Windows machines use it to protect the administrator password, I ask for the web page to generate a new one, which I keep in a safe place. For storage, Amazon give you 30 gigabytes on the free tier, so I just confirm that is the amount shown. Finally I launch the new instance, and then go to the view all instances screen. I wait 5 minutes here to let the instance be fully built, and then pass both status checks. Note, you may need to refresh the web page to see the latest status. Once built I select it, press connect and then select the resultant RDP client tab. I download the remote desktop file and then ask to get the administrator password. I upload the private key file protecting the password. I then decrypt the password to see it. Back on the PC, I open the remote desktop file we downloaded earlier and supply the administrator password when asked. Even once you have connected, as this is the first time, there is a lot of setting up that has to be done, which takes up to a minute to complete, so please be patient.
Once fully set up if I open File Explorer, it shows it can only see this PC's C drive at the moment. If I now return to my local PC and edit the downloaded remote desktop connection file. Amend the display to use 16-bit color which is still over 65,000 colors, but can be significantly faster than the millions of colors that the default 32-bit high color allows for. On the Local Resources tab, I ensure that just printers, clipboard and drive C are checked. I now save all changes and connect. Finally, although not very quick if transferring large files through this RDP connection, nonetheless, it has mapped my local PC's hard disk. So, in summary you have a free copy of Windows Server, on a free VPS, giving you free RDP capabilities for the next year. On screen you can see the YouTube video, that the algorithm has selected especially for you, based on your past viewing preferences. And if you want to see more instructional videos, like this one in the future, click on the Cloud Tech logo. Thanks for watching.